Yes, one of the things that I've prided myself on when it comes to my Windows systems is I always make sure to go in and take care of my hard disk drive. And these days, it's gotten easier. So let's go in and take a look at how we would do this in Windows 11. Notice I've opened the File Explorer from my taskbar, and I'm going to go to this PC, and there is my local disk. So I'm going to right click this and I'm going to go to properties. Now we have this classic properties window that will pop up and notice we can go over to the tools menu and the first thing your eyes may be drawn to is the optimization and defragmentation of the drive. If you click on this optimize button, if you are using an SSD, you're going to see that Sure enough, Windows 11 is automatically taking care of your solid state drive for you. We don't go in and defragment like we used to with hard disk drives. And in fact, defragmentation would actually lower the remaining lifetime of the solid state drive. So this is wonderful. Yeah, for these modern day SSDs that we have, notice when it comes to defragmentation or optimization, we've got Windows 11 taking care of that for us automatically. Now, checking the system, the drive system for errors, that's always a great idea. I try and remember to do this about once a month and you just come in and say that you want to scan the drive for errors and it will take place while you're sitting here watching it. Please notice though, if there are some errors that Windows 11 is going to need to automatically recover you from, it may require rebooting your system. But the error checking process will tell you if that is something that you need to do. Also, this has always happened. Notice that the time remaining is gonna be jumping all around and all over the place. Windows has historically had a real tough time figuring out exactly how much time this process is going to take. And sure enough, we just saw it with four minutes and 30 seconds left on the estimate. All of a sudden it just finished. Notice there is a show details button and that's going to take you into the Windows event viewer and you can read all of the details in here about that scan that you just completed. So right in this general window is all of the details about the scan. All right, great. Well, there is one last thing I want to show you involving keeping your disk healthy and that is eliminating all of the clutter that might be on your disk system. So notice to do this, we can go to the details button and that is actually going to bring us up to this local disk display of storage usage inside of the Windows settings app. And this is really wonderful. It's going to show you the system files that you have. This, these are critical and we can't touch those. They are making Windows run properly. Here's our installed applications. Here's other people's stuff. So maybe we are sharing this machine with other users, which I am. And this is giving us a display of how much those other users are utilizing. We can manage other large folders on this machine and notice temporary files. Look at that. I've got 1.11 gig of temporary files. So these I would certainly want to get rid of. It's delivery optimization files, thumbnails, true temporary files, temporary internet files, direct X shader cache, whatever that is, Windows error reports and feedback diagnostics. So yes, I would love to get rid of all of this junk. So I'm going to click on remove files. It's going to say you sure you want to do this. And there we go. I just tidied up a portion of all the stuff that is littering my hard drive. So these are the simple steps that you can utilize to keep your Windows 11 disk running along happy and healthy. 
And doing things like eliminating temp files can also cause your Windows 11 to perform better. That's right, less issues if we keep things all tidied up as far as those temp files go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with more great Windows 11 tips for you.